Hello and welcome to my top 5 worst games of the year for 2014. I have had the misfortune of playing some bad games this year. This list will consist of games I personally didn't like for various reasons, therefore the games may not be bad themselves but are bad from my perspective. Number 5. Shadow of Mordor now, Shadow of Mordor has a great story and is part of one of my favourite franchises. Talion was a great and tragic hero character. The plot was engaging and the nemesis system was fun. However, I'm really big on gameplay and it is solely for this reason that this game features on this list. The combat was just way too repetitive for my liking. It was a constant button mash and whenever I was about to utilise a kill move holding the back trigger and square button, an enemy would always seem to interrupt me. Repetition is something I can't stand in games. Unless it's something that is done well, and in this game it isn't. Number 4, FIFA 15. So here we are again with one of our annual multi-year FIFA games. I'm a big football fan and was excited to play this year's game, especially after Pro Evolution Soccer's lacklustre game last year. Basically, all that was added was the official stadiums for the Premier League. The gameplay is the usual clunky football that we've been used to the past few years. The faces don't seem to have any emotion and the mouths move like fish lips. Players still automatically fall to the floor once they've used up all their energy meters and online did seem a little bit scripted. Overall, I wasn't impressed by this year's game and hope for a big improvement next year. Number 3, Lego Hobbit. Another Middle Earth game that features on my list, this time in Lego form. The game has the actual dialogue from the first two Hobbit movies, but then it omits great songs like Far Over the Misty Mountains Cold and replaces it with some generic Celtic sounding track. Also, Ed Sheeran's I See Fire is gone and replaced by another track which isn't from the movie. Gameplay wise, it does nothing different from any other Lego game I've played, which is really disappointing. You could literally play Lego Batman or Lego Star Wars and you would feel like you were playing the same game. Once I finished the game, I had no need or want to actually continue collecting everything because I felt like it was a chore rather than something I would look forward to. Number two, Assassin's Creed Unity. Okay, so this one won't be a surprise for most of you. This was the most anticipated game of the year for myself, a sequel to a very good Assassin's Creed game last year in Black Flag, and the game just did not deliver for me. Bugs, glitches, poor animations plagued this game on launch day and they still do for me now. Arno felt like a second-rate Ezio, and his ascension to an assassin was done even quicker than Edward from last year's game, something which I was very critical of at the time. I also felt that Ubisoft had the perfect playground in revolutionary France to make a masterpiece, and fortunately, they've made a mess. Number 1. Watch Dogs This is easily top of my worst games list for this year. We've had the controversial downgrade in graphics, and again, performance issues, although not quite to the same extent as Unity. We have a very generic trench coat wearing protagonist in Aiden Pierce, who has little personality, a slightly confusing story arc, and a voice actor who, to be honest, put me to sleep. I felt his character was a big missed opportunity. He could have been some raging anti-hero or a clinical finisher with a sniper rifle who gets the job done, but instead he showed no charisma. Gameplay was disappointed. You can literally stand next to an enemy but can't attack him with your fists because melee isn't an option in this game. You have to clumsily aim your gun at point blank range. Also, the story was badly executed and the side quests offered no value to the game. The only thing I did enjoy was the hacking element of the game, but even that was limited to pressing one button once it appeared on the screen. I may have sounded harsh within my assessment of these games, but at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. What's bad to me may not necessarily be bad to somebody else and vice versa. I hope you've enjoyed this list. I'd be grateful if you could tell me what the worst games you've played this year were. I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.